So we're helping um, service providers uh, assure and improve and monetize video. And we do that through, we have a, uh, a, basically it's a passive probe. We watch the network, we pick up video data and we pull that out. That information we then analyze. We can give them all sorts of demographic and trend analysis about you know, what devices are being used, the, uh, the sort of like the content sources people are going to, like the YouTubes and Hulus and Netflix of the world, um, and their quality of experience. And what's unique is at the heart of our technology is we create what's akin to like a MOS score for voice. It's the same thing for video, where we analyze the way that the video is delivered. Um, so looking at things like, you know, does it stall? Like, are you getting the annoying hourglass when you're trying to play the video? And then also the video fidelity or its, or its presentation. So, you know, is it of the right resolution, uh, the right quality? Are there any you know, artifacts in there like pixelation and blocking and those sorts of things? And if there are, you go back to the operators and you say, your service is rubbish, you have to improve it. And here's where it's rubbish. Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, the idea is that they can look at it and they can see if there's an issue, so it can be responsive, so if a customer complains or, yep. they're, or they're seeing a, like a congestion issue, they can look at that and perhaps they use that for planning and they say, okay, do you know what we notice in this busy part of, you know, of London um, at King's Crossing or something when uh, it's, it's rush hour and people are going home, they're watching movies on their iPhones. And when they're doing that, that's causing a congestion issue and maybe that's where we invest money to, to build out the network. Conversely, it can be doing other things like saying, you know, we see uh, usage patterns where people who buy a tablet, for example, tend to go and they, they download a lot of, you know, for fee movies from like a Netflix type service. And therefore, there's an opportunity for us to create, you know, potentially create one of those sort of social bundles you see with Twitter and Facebook where it's like, well, this isn't going to count against your data cap. And by the way, potentially we can offer you some level of guaranteed quality while you watch that movie. And as soon as that movie's over, then it's sort of you're just back to standard browsing. The, the big difference here is that uh, a QoS uh, quality of service is generally your, your traditional DPR, deep packet inspection kind of um, probe. And that's where you look at your network metrics and you have your KPIs that say, you know, congestion levels were fine, there wasn't too much latency, packets weren't being dropped. And that's great, but that's one element of video because the reality is your video, the things that all come together to tell you what the quality level are, there's three components. The first one is the content source. So, you know, is this like a, a homemade off of your smartphone, you know, in a restaurant at night with your friends celebrating birthday and the lights you know dim and the camera's not that good or is it you know a, a proper production um, and then on the other end you of course you, you of course have the network which is the DPI's cover and then you also have the device so you know what's it resolution like uh, you know how does it how much memory does it have what's its processor power what kind of video can it handle those sorts of things and we're able to combine those to tell you how good the video was how it went across the network and how the network impacted the playback and then ultimately depending on how good it was at its source how well does it play at the device now, are you seeing your, your customers take your metrics and make improvements? Are you seeing that tangibly happening? Absolutely. I mean, this is this is what they want to know is, mm -hmm. is, you know, to some degree, they're a bit in the dark and they're trying to say, so where are we as far as video? What are they watching? What is this doing to our network? How does it impact other services, for example, as well, like other forms of data or, or voice? Um, and then they are doing that, and that's where they're doing things like network planning, like I said, where they can roll out, you know, they can CapEx expenditure to expand the network to better support customers.